What's up guys, I'm coming at you from Dongguan for a quick video on my RV. I haven't filmed a video in a while, and the last video I filmed, which was actually the third last video that I uploaded, I was driving this back from Hebei, from the factory where I purchased this, and I was doing a political rant on Tibet. Some of the people in the comments says, do a video on your RV, so here it is. Uh, and I think today is the perfect day to do it because this is the first morning after spending the night with my family here in this RV. I have uh, stayed in it myself two or three times, uh, which was on the journey back from Hebei province to begin with. But as a family trip, this is the first family trip and we found an amazing place here in Dongguan. Let me show you the, uh, the view here. So this is, a, uh, this is a reserve, a nature reserve here. The kids are over there playing with a stray dog. Um, but it's a beautiful area here, surrounded by forests. Once we enter this park, we still have to drive for about, uh, once we enter the grounds, we still have to drive for about 20 minutes before we reached this spot here. Um, so this is now the morning, the next morning. You can see that the, the, this vehicle um, has a rising top. And so the top is extended right now. And the reason I got this RV is because when it's lowered down, it's 2.27 uh, meters. So I measured our parking garage. The whole point was I wanted to be able to drive it back home un into our underground parking. The only place I was worried about was the entrance where the uh, height warning bar is hanging down. That was the only thing that looked a little bit close. They always put those a little bit lower than the lowest point in the parking garage. And um, I, I wasn't sure if when I was going down, because it's, a, uh, it's in a minus one, it's an underground parking. And then there's also a speed bump right at that point. I didn't know if I was gonna hit the top. <laughs> sure enough, I did hit it but it's a swinging bar so it's okay but what i was afraid of was i was afraid that the security was going to see that and say no you're over the height you can't go in but he was okay maybe he probably saw that i just barely kind of knocked it as well and um i know in the parking garage is all the safe places to go so it was good in terms of that the uh, vehicle itself it's really good really nicely built um it's built on an isuzu uh, pickup uh, chassis um, the company itself that we bought from services okay it's a massive uh, state-owned company uh, that has an RV division. And once you pay your final deposit, <laughs> they're just like, they're kind of, they're not as helpful anymore. It's not like our friend's factory. We have a friend's uh, a factory here in Dongren actually that makes RVs, but he doesn't do the rising top ones. Otherwise I would have bought from him. Really, really good service. Um, they even repair friend's RVs that have nothing to do with their factory. Um, and you know all the employees' names. Whereas this huge factory, Every time you went there and you asked to speak to somebody, you'd speak to a new person that you've never ever seen before and you have to re-explain everything again sometimes. But uh, that's the nature of some big companies sometimes. But um, let me just take you for a quick little walk around on the vehicle. So we've got, um, just to show you here, we've got a, that's actually a, a lot bigger than it is. I, I put a suitcase in there, a lot bigger than it looks. I put a suitcase in there um, on the way back. This is to charge the back batteries here. Um, for the for the RV and then um, there's a little tool toolbox area there and obviously for adding your um, your diesel and also I don't, I don't even know the English name for it the Niao Su so it's a, a thing that helps reduce your emissions um, on your your uh, diesel engines and it's why I'm gonna be able to put a Shenzhen license plate on this vehicle uh, because the emission standards in the big cities are very very strict and so these, uh, they're, they're called Go Liu, uh, uh, standard six country level uh, emission standards. This can actually pass it. Now, in terms of getting the plate though, uh, we have a license plate ready for it, but we still only have our temporary plate on it. It is way harder to <laughs> register and get everything done than we thought. So when uh, manufacturers make vehicles, they have a standard model, um, the, the first model that they register in the database. And so when anybody in the future goes and registers a vehicle from that factory, they're gonna compare the photos side by side to make sure, uh, the registration office in the city where you're getting a license plate, to make sure it's exactly the same. But the problem is, is we got them to put on these, uh, this bike rack and um, this now doesn't match it. Even to the point of this QR code, they need us to take that off also. So we've got to jump through a few more hoops before we get our 
permanent license plate. This license plate expires in two days. Uh, so we're not going to get it done in time. We're going to drive it over to the government office and leave it there while we're figuring everything out. Uh, we are making, the kids are waiting here. We're waiting for, they're waiting for some eggs. We're frying on the side here with the, um, with the uh, gas tank there. We got a little uh, fold out table there, fold out table there. We cooked some, uh, we cooked some mushroom soup on it yesterday. And um, the kids enjoyed that. Um, I'm, I'll give you a quick look on the inside because it's just really, really messy right now. We woke up and didn't, uh, didn't clean up yet. But this, uh, this bottom thing here, that goes up and turns into a table and there's two seats here and two seats here with seat belts. But when you're in sleeping mode, it goes down in this long bed. And we actually fit a lot of people in here. So my wife stayed here with, uh, with our youngest. Her mom was with us too, so she slept on that side with another one of the kids. I slept on the top there and the two eldest slept up here. Um, they had showers last night over there. The nice warm water was coming out. We had the air conditioning on last night. We were using the microwave. You were using a bunch of stuff and we are at, still at 56% power. Once we start, uh, once we turn on the engine and start driving, um, the, um, the, uh, the alternator will start charging the back batteries too, as well as the vehicle's main battery. And then we've got massive solar panels on the top, which are very, very effective at charging it as well. Um, let me actually finish off with, uh, I'll, I'll show you a couple of the other things on the inside. So yeah, that's most of the stuff. There's some storage space under there. Um, this is uh, to the, obviously to get to the front front cabin. As I said, it's pretty messy here right now. That's where the heat will come out um, during the uh, during the winter that they will use diesel to, to produce heat. Air conditioning unit there, nice big fridge here, the microwave there. As I said, the bathroom is in the back. And that thing on the, the back of the vehicle is the, um, is the um, air conditioning, air conditioning um, YG, <laughs> compressor. That's what it is, I'm losing my time. We get lots of questions when we're outside too because uh, people are really curious about Arby's. But, um, all right, kids are too noisy. Breakfast is being served, but I want us to do a quick messy video about this. I'm gonna be doing a lot of adventures throughout China um, in this vehicle, so stay tuned for that. I've got a few places planned with the family and also by myself to do some trips out to, um, I'm hoping to go to the, uh, the, the, the largest mosque in Southern China in the Yunnan area. Um, so that's a preview of some of the things I uh, might be doing. Uh, so stay tuned for that. And of course, in between, I'll be having all of my regular political rants or um, conversations with other people book reviews, uh, that kind of things. Um, so anyways, I'm going for breakfast now and I will see you guys in the next video. Have you heard about summer snow? When it falls on you, your blood runs cold. Don't you sweat your pretty skin Cause it melts away for it sinks in And you dream about this very night When the moon runs down the summer sky Could it be the morning of the spring When the sea runs dry and start to sing Have you heard from the sky all the Until your legs gave way Then you cried and got back up again And it's real to think that I could fly Cross a broken bridge in the fading light Never thought I had on my two feet Never had a care in the world you see Have you heard from the sky all about it Down 